<laughs> you must have known when you went in there that because, you know, sort of, hang on a second, uh, in the script I'm attached to Gale, no one survives around Gale. No, I had lots of Gale warnings. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But um, we uh, eventually, you didn't know whether you were Andy or Gavin no, or. or, or... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a new boss there now, isn't there? Because uh, she's Emmerdale boss, Kate yeah, Oates. Kate Oates yeah. is coming so in, yeah. So you know what happens when new bosses come in. Have mm, you had yeah. any indication of, uh, about what's going to happen to your story, you guys? Well, M Michael kind of disappears in the next few weeks because he's um, going to Brighton, but mm. um, and by Les is going to do a play. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, we've, and we just filmed some really nice stuff where we've kind of reconciled all the stuff that you've yeah. just seen on the screens, and it, it feels like that has kind of come to a natural, yeah. a natural ending and our characters actually quite like each other but if a new producer comes in who knows but yeah, um, yeah. well we well I've just signed for another year so uh oh yeah. have you absolutely <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, oh, well, you're, we're, we're in we're well, your in. characters we're in. get on well and yeah. you clearly get on well in real life yeah. because as you're taking this little mini break away yeah. from the cobbles you are working together on a play uh, on a play an Alan Bleasdale classic mm. which and is you amazing. saw this originally didn't you? I saw this 40 years ago um, in Liverpool Playhouse down the dock road written by the brilliant Alan Bleasdale who did of course uh, boys and black stuff. He came in the other day and showed us uh, on the script that um, he'd finished writing it on the 26th of the 2nd, 1976. He came in on the 26th of the 2nd the other day oh, and wow. showed us, like, you know, that that was... stained manuscript. Yeah. It was like... Of this... oh. Wow. So, so it's so, so it's that's... 1976, mm -hmm. and we're yeah. we're down. This is this is a group of dockers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a ten day dockers. in the life of, of ten dockers. Ten dockers on 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 a, on a ship, container uh, ship. And you're uh, you're Dobbo. I'm Dobbo. Yes. Right. Who is Dobbo? He's uh, he likes to see himself as the Lothario of the group. I think he likes to uh, regale the other dockers with uh, with his tales of his uh, his. Um, evening um, <laughs> exploits, <laughs> shall we I say? See. But actually, Casanova. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, and and you are. I'm granddad. granddad. When I saw it, when I first saw it, I could have played our kid, who's the youngest character in it. That's Nathan McMullen, and now I'm playing Granddad, who's the oldest. Yeah. It's his last day on the docks, and um, so he's kind of there, kind of a bit last dayness, feeling mm. a bit kind of fed up at the, about the fact that he's retiring, and then c trying to look after all the um, all the other dockers. Is this um, why? Uh, that's why we've got this. This is going yeah. on up here. Yeah. That's what's And happening. we have the wonderful Andrew Schofield as, as McKenna, so it's, no it's a brilliant, oh, brilliant, uh, oh, yeah, no, no relation, <laughs> but uh, a brilliant cast we've got. Oh, at least I don't think he's a relation, I've got a cousin called Andrew Schofield, well, maybe it's him. Maybe it's him. Good, good yeah. heavens. And you're the co-producer? Yes, it's my first foray into co-producing, so I had to sit the other side of the desk with um, Alan and Hannah Chiswick, our director, and Kevin, producer. Did and you I, have to audition? I, I, audition yeah, for to audition. I, I was so nervous. Oh, I was so right. nervous. How weird. <laughs> yeah, because Les had obviously given me the heads up about, about the part, and but obviously I hadn't met Hannah, I hadn't met Alan, yeah. so there was a certain formality that we had to uh, we had to adhere to. And, uh, yeah, I went to the theatre, I remember being out in the green yeah. room, I said, OK, you're up now. So I, wa <laughs> I walked across the stage, shook hands with all those, didn't oh. know what to do with Les. I was like, <laughs> do I give him a hug? Is that, is that a bit informal? Uh, yeah. And but, uh, I got the job. Yeah, well, thankfully, thankfully. Yeah. But you, of course, didn't have to audition no, because no, you I'm selected the only, yourself. I'm the only one that selected myself. And, <laughs> and Alan Bleasdale is very fussy, and I thought, you know, maybe he wouldn't have cast me. But no, uh, well, it's great. I'm, you know, I've got this fantastic friendship with a, one of my heroes now, you know. Wow, Alan and you Bleasdale. couldn't find a copy of the script initially? We when couldn't, you no. No, we wanted to do it, and Hannah and myself were at the National Theatre Bookshop trying to find it, and we couldn't find it, so I had to call Alan. I wonder, but, but, but for you, when, when you saw this, first yeah. of all, uh, yeah. th this was this sort of changed the dynamic of life, your career. It, it did kind of because you know I, I, I was, I'd started doing the clubs, but I wanted to act as well, and so um, from then on, I kind of made the decision that whenever I got time, mm. when I wasn't doing um, my you know a comedy, that I'd go and do a play once a year. So what comes first? For you then, when you're when you're asking for time off from Corrie, is it the play comes and then because you always think, oh my God, how are they going to write this gap in? Yeah, and I, I I completely said to them from the off, Corrie Corrie comes first. It has to come first. I'm contracted to them, and they've been so accommodating and so wonderful at uh, managing to it's kind of wrangle things that, around. Yeah. And I think it's brilliant. And and like we were saying, uh, David Nielsen's off doing an end game at the moment. Yeah. Brooke Vincent's about to do a play in the autumn. Yeah. So they've been they've been so accommodating. And, and it I think keeps like, you fresh. Really yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and also, um, something that I hope this isn't a secret because I'm about to blow it now. Well, but, to... uh, but but I would have thought on opening night when people get a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, just a little it'll bit. It'll be fine around you because you can't smell anything. 
<laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. We just discovered this because of the flowers. You didn't know. You didn't, didn't know. know this so I all, said, yeah. I said, I'm terribly sorry. And, and there's a weird smell. Don't think it's either of us because uh, the flowers here are particularly beautiful, St David's Day, but also it's, they're quite pongy. And you said, don't worry, I can't smell anything. Yeah, no sense of smell. Oh, but it doesn't happen? affect your taste. Had, well, I'm, I mean, it probably, possibly does, but it's been so long now that I don't really think I notice anymore. Um, well, count yourself very lucky today. I, I hit the back of my head. Apparently, it's quite common. Hit the back of my head, and uh, it can damage the nerve. And this was when you were a teenager. Yeah, I was about 19, 18, 19. I think. And and did they say that it, one day it might come back? Uh, they said it's it's one of those. It, it might. It, could happen. I don't know if anyone's out there's watching. If anyone's what? had any, well, yeah. you don't need Some to worry about having bad now. breath anymore. No, 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 You're the only one that'll work with him because he yeah. stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Can do anything though. <laughs> 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 oh, oh man. I think we should leave Listen, it there. Good luck with that. It's uh, <laughs> down the dock road. It starts on the 11th of March, is when yeah. it opens, mm -hmm. uh, until the 9th of April, and it's at the Royal Court in Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely yeah. to see you both. Great, great, great stuff. Thank, Thank you. you.